So when we talk about playing our wall cover two versus three by one formations, there's a couple of th things to think about. So one is that the corner now has three flat threats to his side. Again, like we talked about in part one, he only plays flat threats from a receiver or a tight end position, not from the backfield. Obviously by definition, a three by one formation will give him three flat threats. So now he has one extra guy in his field of vision. Also, you need to account for number three vertical. Typically we'll do this with the mic. We also have ways to give him some help from different places. Um, so obviously that, that needs to be a consideration. Um, the field safety, the safety to the three receiver side also needs to have some awareness for three vertical now. You would prefer to just not put the mic on him on that number three on his own. So the safety really needs to think about splitting one and three on verticals. Okay, so we'll look at that. Also, Mike now, he has the same seam or wall rules as the outside linebackers do. So if his man, the number three, his man goes out, then he should think, get to the face of number one, the face of the next uncovered man. Again, just like the outside linebacker rules that we use. To the one receiver side, uh, if there's a split end, just one split end, we have a couple different variations that we can play. There's even more than this, but I'll, we'll just focus on poach, solo, and cut today. Um, and then to the tight end side, we have a way to play cop that gets both the safety and the corner back in the run fit. Okay, so looking here at three by one. Okay, our, our Sam is walking inside late. He's showing it like we're playing outside leverage and then he's moving to inside leverage. But you can see now, again, great job. Both linebackers using the same technique. So pivot, open up, look at your man, take one shuffle and then go. So our Sam can wall the number two here. The Mike, you can see his thought progression here. Three goes out. He's thinking the face of number one. Okay, there, again, I think there are teams that will pass this off. We don't do that. I think you have to be able to give the Sam some absolutes. And you have to say, you are walling our number two here. So instead of saying, uh, you know, he's going to wall three now when he goes out, he'll take two. Um, again, we just don't mess with that. We have to give him some absolutes here. So we don't mess with that. Now the Mike also knows he's not going to number two. It's not the new three, it's the original one that he's going to, the next uncovered man. Okay, great spot by the corner here. Again, understanding he has three vertical threats, or he, sorry, he has three flat threats. So great matchup here. Again, just like we talk about playing as cover two mans, so we've got one, two, three, four, five under, two deep safeties here. You'll see some different things on the one receiver side. Again, we're only really focusing on the three receiver side right now. Also, the linebacker here, our Will, is adding on with the back blocks. Just like how we always like to play it when we're in a man match coverage. Okay, here again, three by one. Again, our Sam is, is walking inside late, doesn't quite get there, so he puts himself in a little bit of a weird uh, spot here. But pretty good job by the Mike. Okay, count this as a vertical by three. So again, we all end up in good position here. So inside and underneath, inside and underneath corner no flat threat so you can turn and run underneath the number one we've got the safety over the top of everybody one other note here this is an interesting concept that we can get so we get curl by one wheel by two and then we get a little flat route or, or bump angle whatever you call it by the number three. Now the mic needs to know that if there's actually no exchange, that if uh, if two is also out, that is going to take the corner. So the mic really needs to keep pushing through to the original three. Okay, so he has to see a little bit what's going on outside of him. He should anyway when three goes out. But you can see here he can't. He shouldn't run to the face of one here. There's no uncovered man to run to. So he's just keep going with the original three here. But really good matchup here by the corner in our nickel. Okay, looking more here. This is a really good job, really good matchup here. So we're playing nasty. Again, essentially we have a push alert here between one and two. 
and we have reduced splits and motion across here. So now again, on the snap of the ball, they're in a three by one formation. The corner has three flat threats. Here's his flat threat. Our Sam or our nickel here again with nasty. If one runs the immediate inside release, he will wall him just like he's doing here. And then again, the Mike should get to the face of the next uncovered man right here. Okay, again, it's a really good job playing tight, tight coverage, sorting things out here underneath. You get the safety over the top of everybody. Really good job playing tight coverage here. Really good job matching the pattern there. Again, similar concept here. We get kind of a tight bunch here. One thing you can do with your Sam or your nickel as a little bit of disguise is have him start square to the number three. So align him head up on the number three, start him square. So it looks like he's playing man on the number three, and then he can just turn and face out and do his normal seam technique on the number two. Okay, again, here we're in nasty. We get that inside release by number one, so he comes off on that. The corner has a flat threat, so he runs with the wheel. Sorry. Corner runs with the wheel route. Again, Mike, three goes out. He should think face of the next uncovered man. We're playing this a little bit differently here. He really should just run to this one here instead of pedaling to it. You can see we end up in good shape there. 